I was, I was not an adult. I was, I was, I was just growing up. I mean, truth is, I don't know how I got pregnant. Yes, I know I had a lot of foreplay, but there was never penetration. So it was funny that I got pregnant. So for someone like me that, um, that was staying away from, abstaining from sex because I was supposedly too young and I was still in school, I was, and then pregnancy happened because I didn't want stigma. I didn't want to have to go back to my parents and explain that, oh, I've gotten pregnant. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've gone to do everything. I mean, I've come back a disappointment to you. So it just felt like, okay, I, 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 I'd rather take a risk and probably lose, lose my life than go back home and say, oh, I'm pregnant. So it was, it was more of fear of stigma and oh, that, that, and the fact that I knew I was not ready to be a mother. Neither was the person that got me pregnant, even though he said otherwise. I mean, he was saying things like, oh, we can do this, we can talk to our parents, we can, but it's, it was definitely a no-no for me. So what I did was go online and search for things people that also did stuff like that used. And I, I saw a drug, although it's also like, it also had um, another use, but it worked for that. So I saw that drug online and I checked for it and because it's, um, I mean, it's also used for ulcer. It was easy to get it over the counter without any prescription. Before we talk about abortion, there's pregnancy. And before pregnancy, there's sex. And it's funny that men get to make these rules because for them, it's, it's a five minutes, 10 minutes event and it ends there. For a woman, I mean, you get to worry about your missed period, your cycle, your ovulation and all of that. But I feel things that, that specifically have to do with women fold should, should be decided more by women. Nigeria is a um, country that, that um, has most of the rules and laws decided by people that are supposedly religious. So, because our most common religions say not to abort, and Nigeria says do not abort, but I don't know. I feel, I don't know. I, I feel if you don't want a baby, and you feel like you cannot cater for this baby and all of that, then maybe you shouldn't have such a baby. Well, first and foremost, I, I feel legalizing abortion would reduce the rate at which people um, risk their lives unnecessarily. I mean, a lot of people do a lot of people, some people even go to supposed quack doctors and get their wombs destroyed, get, um, some even die. So I, I feel if abortion were to be legal, I mean, Nigeria is overly populated and if there was a way, in my opinion, if there was a way to, to stop population from growing unnecessarily. I mean, if I were going to be allowed to decide that, um, okay, since you do not want this baby, you cannot cater for it, aim or, then maybe you shouldn't have it. And that, that, 
and that's illegal, I, I feel like that's a good thing. It's a fellow woman that would probably say, oh, ah, this lady's daughter had an abortion. To fear for she's now a, it's, I mean, most men, yes, a man, a wife, a woman could go home, a sister could go home and tell her brother that, ah, can you imagine this lady had an abortion? And he is not really concerned about it, but women, I feel they are the ones that um, make the stigma stay. We are the ones that make other people realize, like when you just tell a man that this person had an abortion and you're like, oh, well, you're like, ah, you don't know that what she did is not good, this and that. They're the ones, so I feel, when it comes to stigmatization, apart from religion, um, it's women that propagates and makes it as bad as it is. We are most times our worst enemies because um, women are just not really supportive of each other. I mean, let's assume I have a mom I'm not close to, but I know that. I mean, it should have been nice to know that I have a neighbor, a, a female neighbor or a friend that is female. I mean, if when I wanted to have an abortion, I wouldn't want to go to my male neighbor. I won't expect him to really know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, this was something that scared me, something that I knew I was risking my life to do. I, I knew I could take these drugs and things could go wrong, I could die, but it would have felt very nice to know that I could go to my mom, my aunt, my sister, a female friend or something. But you know, how, how the thought goes through my head is, okay, yeah, so I go to this aunt of mine and yeah, maybe she would help me or I mean, she could even help me, and I feel like, oh, my secret is safe, and I also know that this same person is the one that would go around and spread gist and gossip, and gossip is something that is mostly done by women. So, stigma, I mean, the stigma I tried to avoid would still be there at the end of the day if this, like, like I mean, that's how the thought came. Like if I go to this person, at the end of the day, she's still going to go around spreading this thing. I would love to keep a secret. So what's the point? Um, I, I don't know if I'm in a place to advise anyone. I feel when someone gets to that junction, it's, it's a decision you have to take by yourself. I, I feel it's, it's not, I mean, I'm, I'm not happy I did what I did, but I'm glad I did. I mean, if there could be some kind of rewind, maybe if I didn't have to get pregnant, but if it happened that I could rewind it and I got pregnant, I would still abort it. So I don't know if, I mean, I'm not going to go out and say, everyone, once you get, pregnant and you don't want it, take it out. I don't know what your fear is, I don't know what your worry is, but like I said, when you get to that junction, you, you weigh your gains and your losses, and then the decision at the end of the day <laughs> is always yours to take. Except maybe in cases where people are forced to the hospital, I mean, maybe where parents find out and take you to the hospital, like, oh no, yeah, 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 you have to get this done, but if it's something that is just you, like you found out by yourself and no one knows yet. It's a decision no one but you can take. I mean, even deciding to tell people about it is a decision and deciding to keep it to yourself and do whatever you had to do is a decision. So it's not really a decision that someone can take for you. <laughs>